Um, go ahead, clap in front of the bell for me. Right, no. right here? Yes. Clap right in front this. of yourself. Like this? No, clap your, your hands. Oh, clap, clap my hands. hands. Yes. Yeah. He, One wet, more time. he wet his words big time last I night. I was like, the words are still <laughs> wet right now. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. How you doing? I'm Mike from Harris Watermain. Today, I have Lyndon, our foreman. Lyndon, how you doing? I'm pretty good, man. You feeling good today? Yes, sir. Energized? Energized. Not I too tired to... from last night? No, no, no. That's a good thing. Okay, so Lyndon, I asked you to come here today because I wanted just to put something out about different curb valves. So here we have three different types, and besides being different sizes, um, I just want to go through you know, what type of material you hook up to them, and if there's any functionality differences between them. This one is a three inch MJ curve valve. It's a mechanical joint. You could use brass, you could use ductile iron, okay. galvanized, it doesn't matter. The difference is the gasket go between, make the difference. Of so the this decision. valve, you could use three different types of material, yes. the gasket changes. Jesus, yes. But in New York, we only use ductile. Ductile, yeah. Okay. How does it open and close? This is a right hand turn close, clockwise close. Okay. This is a gate valve, clockwise and it close. Okay. Anti clock, it's open. Okay. Now, over here. Now this is. This is a two inch curve valve with a square not the square operated nut. This is a gate valve, but this is IPS. IPS and what does IPS mean? IPS mean it's threaded. It's threaded. Yeah. Threaded, threaded valve. So you use a uh, brass uh -huh. or you could use copper. So how do we connect this to a copper water main? Well, you got a, a, an adapter with IPS on the one side and a flare on the other side. So it's a flare by male yeah, adapter. Flare by male adapter. So. Okay, so you basically, you screw so in one side and you flare the and you other. flare the other for the copper. Now, how does this function? This is clockwise closed. Okay. And anti-clockwise open. And it's a gate. Yeah. And it functions the same. Same way. Just smaller, smaller. And it's just made for different materials. That's right. And lastly, here we have. One inch. This is a one inch. And this is, looks like a flared this is curb valve. Flared curb valve, yes. So you need a special key for this. That's right. This is the operated nut. This okay. is clockwise close. Uh huh. And the clock open. And this just hooks up by flaring two pieces of copper to it. That's right. This seems pretty small. Is there a gate in here? No, this is a ball valve. So this is basically just like a regular ball valve that yep. functions just by turning it, yep. right? Now, are any of these, well, I guess they wouldn't be superior to another, but let's just say a two inch IPS compared to um, having like a two inch flare. Is there any advantages or disadvantages? Well, the, the flare is gonna, be, is gonna be a ball valve. Yeah. And the ball valve is always better than the gate valve. That is last long. It lasts longer and the gate valve gets stuck, ball valve don't. Got you. Okay, so if you can, it sounds like it would be better to use a flared curb valve over an IPS curb valve. That's correct. Okay. Thank you for watching our video. Again, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. Lyndon, as always, thank you. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Sir. Have a good one.